Okay, guys, quick update for Bitcoin. I'm explaining why I believe that we're going to be around 16,500 uh, early August. If this plays out exactly around August 1st, I'm going to go in detail on that and also give you key support and resistance levels to pay attention to. Remember, you can access all these live charts on the website, pinned in first comment description. It's my big affiliate link. It's also pinned in first comment description as well. Guys, if you like this content, leave a like. I appreciate it. So let's jump into this. Uh, so, guys, if you've been following me, I've been, again, this video I put out on April 22nd. I said, Bitcoin crashed to 22,000 in June and 16,500 in August. Uh, my June prediction played out. Uh, in more recent videos, I was given a specific date. I said around June 4th, June 6th. It ended up being around June 13th, but it was pretty accurate. I'll link this video now if you want to check it out. Notice right here I have this marked off where our target was. This is a published version of this chart. Uh, this was published on March 23rd. This is where I told everybody to short when you hit this line. And this was that first target I was giving around um, early June at 22,000. You can see how this played out. We came down and we hit that target. And my next target I'm giving you is, is early August, around 16,500. I'm explaining to you why I believe this is the case. Um, yeah, the domino effect is already happening. I'm, I'm going to cover that as well in the Dow Jones. Uh, so I just want to point out, guys, a lot of times, so I, I've been showing in my previous videos, I've been showing this chart. And you know this is line right here. I've been talk I was talking about this line called the top. Well, I don't ever show the chart that actually showed that. But, but notice this line right here. You'll notice... Um, Notice we hit it as resistance, then we came back up above it and found support. So I want to show you that this line was on a chart way before price ever got to it. This chart was published on August 31st, 2021. That line right here, this one, is actually this green line right here. So watch what happens when price hits this line. Notice we move down it, push up, and then find support. I'm going to hit play real quick. So you can see right there, we hit it as resistance, pushed above it, found support. Moved down this line like a magnet, found support, pushed up, and we're right back at this line. So I expect us to continue to move down this fifth channel line to that next support level, which is going to be around the 300 weekly moving average. Just want to show you how that played out. Uh, this was the video I put up. This was uh, June 24th, um, and I was telling you what I expect to play out, that we potentially get a little bounce. I said the highest I think we'll go is this point. We didn't push up that high, but basically showing you we're going to move down this line as support and resistance, so we hit our target around 16,500. You can see we did catch the bounce, we did push up, we didn't make it all the way up to this point, we got rejected, came down, found support, and notice right here guys, notice that every single uh, every single candle that's on the daily, every single uh, the, the candle, the meat of the candle is above the support level, showing how important the support level this is. And guys, if you do sign up to get access to these charts, I do uh, keep you updated uh, daily, if not hourly, on Twitter and in Discord. So I want to go through a few of these real quick. I was, this is uh, July 2nd. I was telling everybody, look, this was strong support. This is where you long, 18,950. Uh, we pushed up from that point. You can see right here, found support, we pushed up. Uh, let's go on. So, and the great thing about these charts, just like I showed you this published charts, because the way these charts are charted, I can show you points to long and short way before price ever gets there, as well as show patterns prices in before anybody else has any clue what, what pattern we're in. I said, new pattern to watch. This is Jul uh, July 2nd. So look, this is the point you short. This is probably the pattern we're in. This is falling wedge, your resistance. Notice this red fifth channel line. This was our resistance. And this, this gray line here, outlined in yellow, is our support. Have a perfect support. This is where you short 19,425. See, we got a perfect rejection. You can scalp these charts all day long. We got rejected 19,443. This is our support 18,873. Uh, and this is where I was talking about. So you got you got to pay attention to my tweets and my posts, guys. So July 2nd. So while I think things will continue to get bearish, just going by the M1 chart alone, as long as we are above support, you should be somewhat bullish. Notice we have not had a daily candle close below. When we do get a close below, it's time to flip bearish. And guys, I'm, I'm preparing you for what to pay attention to. Once we get a daily candle close below this support level, that is when we're going to see a lot more downside. In the meantime, it seems like every time we get a wick below, we push up. I do make a tweet about this recently. Uh, I'll show you that in just a minute. But again, you can see what happened. You know, we hit this point, we got rejected. Uh, let's see here, we hit it again, so you knew exactly where to put in your short. Uh, let's go through this right here. Uh, it says, look like we get a move in less than nine hours. A drop will send us down to support around 18,800. So I was saying, look, according to the H1 chart, your next major support, this H1 chart's been dead on accurate, 19,040 is your next support. And we were coming, this, this is your resistance, this is your support. So 
and in about nine hours or less, we're going to get a move. And I'm saying if we break to the downside, there's a target, 18,840. You see how this played out. Within nine hours, we drop down to support, guys. There will be liquids. you got to be careful. You know, a lot of times what I do is if we drop below, wait till we push back up and then long. But we drop down to support. Uh, let's go on, guys. Uh, and I was just talking about, you know, how the pattern was playing out. Found support next resistance level. And I was telling everyone, I said, look, going by the H1 chart, which, again, has been dead on accurate, a break to the upside, your target would be 19,500. A break to the downside, would be around 18,200. Saying, look, going by the H1 chart, we know that if we get a break up from this falling wedge, right, your next resistance is 19,200. If you get a break above this, your next resistance is 19,500, this green line on the H1 chart. If we break to the downside, your target is 18,200. And you can see how this played out. We pushed up. And you see the meat of the candle is right below this line on the H1 chart, and the Q1 chart actually caught it to the tick for a perfect short. And if we go on, so we uh, you know we pushed up and said, look, your next support level to watch is around 19,122. If we break below 19,230, and this is why I made an update about that uh, G1 chart. And now this was this was 13 hours ago, and I was preparing you, know, saying, pay attention. We all we have not had a daily close below this point, so this means it's very possible we could push back up the G1 chart. This is the same line on the M1 chart, so we could push right back up above it. And the next morning, look what happened. We pushed right back above, so that's why I'm saying this is such an important support level. Once we get a daily candle uh, close below this point, that is when you expect a lot more downside. In the meantime, we can see a little bit of upside. I will give you those key support and resistance levels to pay attention to. And this was the most recent tweet I was talking about Q1 chart, that uh, this is a point to put in a short, and we did drop from this point, so I'll cover that as well. So guys, uh, as I mentioned, the domino effect, so a lot of these crypto businesses uh, are becoming insolvent, uh, there's a, lot, a lot of companies have lost a lot of money, there's a lot of people that, uh, a lot of companies that owe other companies money, they cannot pay it out. Uh, this guy here, I, there's no affiliation to him, I just happened to come across his channel the other day. He does go into detail about a lot of this. Um, so I'm, I'm going to play a clip of his video. I guess if you want to check him out, I'll put a link up to it now. Uh, he's He's got 97,000 subscribers. He's trying to hit 100,000. Maybe we could help him hit that point. Guys, if you do uh, check his video out, leave a comment. Say Optical Art sent you, and maybe this guy will give me a shout-out. It would be kind of nice. But I'm going to just play a clip of this because he kind of, he, in his intro, he covers what I'm talking about, how bad things are and why I believe that we're going to have to see a lot more downside. So listen to what he says real quick. In this video, I want to run you through all the latest stories, including the liquidation of Three Arrows Capital, which was a hedge fund that was specifically targeting the crypto markets, got itself into major difficulty and is now in liquidation. So we'll go through what happened there. We'll talk about Voyager, who actually lent a lot of crypto to Three Arrows Capital, who've now suspended all withdrawals from their platform. So they're having a knock-on impact of that liquidation. So we'll go through an update of that situation. We'll talk about BlockFi, which is another crypto lender that was previously valued at close to $5 billion and is now being acquired for around $25 million. So it's a 99.9% .9 reduction of the value in a very short space of time. So I'll give you an update on what's happening with that. We'll have a look at which other lending and crypto platforms have now suspended all withdrawals because there's more of them almost coming through on a daily basis now. And then I'll talk to you about the new regulations that the EU has just announced with regards to... So again, this guy does a really good job of going into detail about all of these different um, companies becoming insolvent, you know, these different exchanges. Now they're, they're, they're halting withdrawals. Oh, this is very bad for the market. The more Bitcoin drops in price, the more of these companies are getting margin called, and it's again, this is just this alone. And, and again, this guy goes in detail, so check him out. But you know, we get other things as well. We got inflation, rising interest rates. This is a, a chart I published on August 22nd, 2021. You see these uh, FIB circles. Every time you hit one of these rings, you get rejected, come down to support. Rejected, come down to support. Rejected, come down to support. This is our COVID crash. Hit this ring, got rejected, came down to support. So <laughs> I was expecting when we hit this ring, something was going to happen. I thought potentially we'd move down the inside of this ring because it happened previously. But if you notice what happened is we actually bounced down the ring. And that's why I have this, this vertical line here showing I expect something to happen. Notice ever since we crossed this ring, we've been bouncing down this ring. So this is how I knew going by my charts uh, for the big, Bitcoin charts and for the, the Dow Jones chart. And guys, the, the indices move together. So if you can chart what's going to happen with the Dow Jones, then you know the Dow Jones tops out, 
the S&P and NASDAQ is going to top out as well. But he's going to be moving down this ring, and I expect us to continue to move down this ring. And this also gives me that date for August 1st, or around early August, why I think potentially our first bottom would be around 16500 so you notice this Dow Jones chart right here, this this uh, red line right here seems like this would be our strongest support and resistance level. So a likely point, and there's a lot of confluence here, that, that ring, this green ring I was talking about, right? We've been moving down it. I, continue, I expect us to continue to move down it and potentially bottom right here. I think the Dow is going to have our first bottom around 27,284. And all of this confluence, this green ring, uh, this support level right here, this red line, and this orange FIP circle price has been respecting for quite a while. Shows me that potentially uh, the first bottom is going to be around August 1st, around 27,284, which gives me that same target I gave you on this M1 chart. So if I zoom out, just to show you guys, again, as I just showed you, this line right here that was resistance, it was resistance and support moving down, right? Finally, let me give you another arrow here. Move this out of the way. So again, this is where I told you guys to short. And notice, we're right back down here. This line that was support and resistance, we're stuck on this line again. And I do believe what's going to happen, again, with, with, with inflation, rising interest rates, expecting more downtime for the stock market, everything that's going on with these different crypto companies, I'm expecting us to continue to move down this line as support and resistance until we hit this target. And again, that target, let me give you a price label here. That, that target is around 16,500 and that will be early August. So I'm expecting us to hit that point. At that point, we might push up. It's very possible we could push up to around potentially 20,000, get rejected, and then I think we'll have that final plunge. I have covered this in previous videos. I will make another video soon covering this. But guys, uh, let me go ahead and get on to the, uh, your key support resistance levels. Uh, I use uh, BigGit to do all my leverage trading. Uh, if you want to use my affiliate link, it's pinned in the first comment description. I do have a tutorial on how to do simulator trade, just fake money, it's SUSDT. So you can practice doing longing and shorting and setting a stop loss, see how much you would have made, how much you would have lost. When you feel comfortable, then you can use the actual platform to trade. I'll put a link up this video now if you want to check it out. So let me give you support resistance levels, guys. So this is the uh, Q1 chart. Uh, notice we got rejected at this line right here. I made a tweet. I showed you those tweets earlier. And I, if you'll notice on that tweet right here, Look, we got rejected at 19,851, and your support was just below 19,527. You can see how this played out. We, we got rejected, and right here at 19,000, this is where we found support. So your current resistance right now is you've got this wick above, but we're still trying to get above. So on the Q1 chart, your current resistance right now is 19,826. Next resistance above to watch is around 21,000 to put in a short. If we drop, your support level is 19,482, down to potentially 17,843. This is the H1 chart, and again, you can see how accurate this chart's been. This is where, um, in that previous video, I told you I put in a short around 19,300. You see we came down, found support right here. This is where we put in long, 19,041. So your current resistance right now is right here at 19,904. Your next support level below is 19,291. This is the C1 chart. So you can see your current resistance. This was pretty close to, um, not, not uh, right to the tick, around 20,043. So your next resistance to watch is right at 20,000. Your next strong support level is uh, 19,278. And your next very strong support, because you got double support here, 18,757 down to 18,650. Uh, right here, the O1 chart, this hit almost to the tick, guys. So compare charts, O1 chart, your current resistance right now is 20,155 and very strong support, 18,660 down to 18,500. Uh, your strongest resistance level above, if we do happen to push up, a lot of charts take influence around 22,000. I just want to give you this key support, just level display, guys. Uh, this is the uh, G1 chart. So this chart is the same, uh, this, this is basically has some of the same FIB channels as the M1 chart, but I've added some FIB channels. So look, your strongest support, 19,268, and that is right here, this line right here. So you can see right here, 19,281. 19, so this is your strongest support if we drop to put in a long, and your resistance right now, your strongest resistance is right here. Again, 20,000. Make this red. Red means short, uh, green means long. So again, 20,000 likely point to put in a short, and the next point to put in a long is around 19,272. But again, I do believe we are going to move down this line right here, this white line. We're going to move down this point as support and resistance until we get our first bottom of 16,544. 
Uh, again, guys, if you do want access to charts, the website is optorcrypto.com. Uh, I do have stocks, tutorials teaching my method of charting, and $49 a month get access to the Bitcoin charts, altcoin charts, Discord, and Twitter. Guys, that's it. Uh, trade safe, trade smart. I'm out.